In the June 20 episode of 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, there's both good and terrible news. For one marriage, divorce appears to be off the table while it is rapidly approaching for another. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's family reunion road trip gets underway and it does not go as planned. Following her weight loss surgery, Angela reverts her old habits and someone's plans are altered due to a positive COVID test. The start of Elizabeth's family journey to Maryland for the family reunion may unsurprisingly be summarized in one word, a catastrophe. Her brother Charlie flies, which alleviates some of the tension between her and her husband Andre. After the first turn, the refrigerator in the RV burst open, spilling everything, foreshadowing the disaster to come. Angela is determined to live a healthy lifestyle after her weight loss surgery, and she's doing very well so far. She is drinking smoothies with grape jelly in them and working out. Despite a hypnotist visit, she's back to smoking a pack a day, which she blames on her major trigger, Michael. Since her operations, they haven't been on the same page, and she's scared he's talking to someone else. She aimed to break into his phone. Divorce seemed to be a distinct possibility, especially given Angela's feelings about Michael's treatment and the lack of assistance she got before and during her operations. Natalie and Mike have been home for a week, and the most significant progress they've made since their dispute over how she and his mother Trish get along is that they now own a rat as a pet. Natalie wants to pursue a professional route, and he thinks she misunderstood. Trish didn't label her a hooker, and he respects her. She says she'll interpret for a television station because that's what she knows, which is similar to Trish's suggestion. Finally, she states that she feels compelled to apologize to go forward, but she cannot forgive and forget. Tiffany and the kids are flying to South Africa to spend time with Ronald, but it's unclear how long they'll be there. She has an open ticket which allows her to depart if they continue to struggle or work through issues. But if his visa is denied, Ronald wants to convince her that they can all live in South Africa together, so he builds her son Daniel his room in the garage. He also claims he will only allow them to return to the United States when their visas expire. Three months, then another three months. Or when he is granted, he can travel back with them. I'll compel Tiffany to relocate to South Africa if she doesn't want to, he adds.